a 13 months boy brought to the surgical clinic by his mother because left testicle is not located in the scrotum at which of the following site would the testicle be located if there is a ectopic testis so it is very very important that the testis is normally it generated in the posterior abdominal wall and finally it comes to the scrotum so from the posterior abdominal wall posterior abdominal wall or posterior retrovegetarian space finally it comes to the scrotum so it has a normal pathway now we have to find out the location of the ectopic test say the options options are canalicular inguinal external inguinal ring superficial inguinal pouch and high scrotal so which is the the place located the ectopic testis so two important term we have to remember very carefully first of all this is the ectopic testis and second one is the undescendent testis for this condition first of all we have to see the descent of the testis so here we can see this is the descent normal descending pathway of the testis first of all let's see this is the abdominal that means first it located in the posterior or retrovegetarian space or posterior abdominal area then it start descent and here we can see this is the deep inguinal ring or internal inguinal ring so the testis it enters to the deep inguinal ring or internal inguinal ring then it goes to the inguinal canal it goes through the inguinal canal then here we can see the external inguinal ring or superficial inguinal ring then here we can see this is the upper part of the scrotum and finally it reaches to the scrotum so it is the normal descending pathway of a scrotum uh, of a testis so what are the part abdominal part external inguinal ring inguinal canal internal inguinal ring inguinal canal external inguinal ring and finally in the scrotum it is the normal pathway and the any testis which is arrested in this pathway is known as the undescended testis so this term is very very important that any testis going to the scrotum it arrest any of part of its pathway it known as the ectopic testis it normally uh, it known as the undescended testis undescended testis but if the testis forgot forget its pathway and goes outside this normal pathway then it is called the ectopic testis it is ectopic testis ectopic testis that means the testis which is not present in the normal descending pathway here we can see the pre penile space here this is the pre penile space it is not the normal pathway then here we can see the superficial inguinal area it not pathway of the testis then transverse scrotal or femoral here we can see this is the femoral area so it is the normal not normal location of the testis so for this condition when the testis present outside this normal pathway then it is the ectopic testis and again here we can see this is the abdomen then inguinal area the inguinal area is divided into three parts superficial inguinal ring deep inguinal ring and inguinal canal and then scrotum so this is this five place is the normal place of the or normal pathway of the testicular descent and when the uh, testis arrested any part of it it is called undescended testis but when the testis present outside this pathway then it is called ectopic now you can see this is the ectopic pre penile that means the base of the penis superficial ectopic or superficial inguinal area transverse scrotal femoral and perineal so now it is very very clear that uh, the ectopic testis location of the ectopic testis location of the ectopic testis it is outside it is a normal pathway and here it is the superficial inguinal pouch and other option here we can see this is the canalicular that means the inguinal canal we know the testis passes through inguinal canal then inguinal area it also 
also tested pass through it external inguinal ring or superficial inguinal ring also passes through it high escrotal that means the escrotum area it also the normal pathway of the testis and the superficial inguinal pouch it is not the normal pathway of the testis so it is known as the ectopic testis